Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. It's time for episode 24, folks. Let's hop on in here and... Stranglehold. A rogue hive ship penetrated the Imperial Lines and is now orbiting the gas giant Stranglehold. Inquisitor Harkin, with three squads of space marines, was sent to destroy the hive ship using a new bioagent, or the new bioagent. The strike force was lost before completing their mission. The Death Watch must finish what Harkin started. Alrighty. Well, there is that. The days. The Death Watch have located the Hive ship in Stranglehold's gravity well and fought their way to the ship's stabilizing canal. Sure. They, the, they kill team, or the kill team, must now destroy the vibroid glands to destabilize the ship. That sounds messy. I don't think I want to do that, but we're going to give it a shot. Alright, we have Jofiel, number awesome. We have Orton, we have Jofiel, we have Valerie who is being replaced. I am sorry, Valerie. You have served your country and stuff admirably, but you're you're done. We're getting Mart Mart Liaison to join the gr the crew, the group. And you're already set up, I think. We're giving you a Belta gun to start with. I think that was the play. I guess that's the play. Alright, so we're going to give you the melted gun to start with and hope that everything works out accordingly. Alright, our Ultra Smurf Death Marine of Spaceitude is here. No space wolves, ironically enough. That is okay. Alright, let's get to it, shall we? Tactical space marines are excellent all-rounders and are versatile in combat. Who knew? Everybody, pretty much everyone knew that they were kind of just like the solid core of the Space Marines. And now I'm going to shh. Kill Team, your mission is to gut this foul vessel and leave it as a carapace in the void. Destroying the vibroid glands in this area will destabilize the ship. Ready your weapons. The hive mind senses your presence and wakens its forces. Radio Freezerg. No, nothing? Okay. We won't do Radio Freezerg. So that wasn't as cool as uh, I'm a Medieval Man. Well, let's be honest. Of Blizzard's great accomplishments over the years, I'm a Medieval Man is probably its greatest accomplishment. Short of that, it's a big pile of poo. So, yeah. Take from that what you will. Uh, I wonder how easy these things are to murder. They seem like they could be probably fairly simplistic to kill. So... I'm going to lean toward them not being that big of a challenge, and I'm going to shoot you. That did not kill it. Well, what would Joe Fuel Number Awesome have to say about that? Many things, I imagine. I'm sure this is probably going to upset the delicate balance of the universe here, but it's got 200 and it's got 300 health overall, but now it's got 0 hundred health. That's right, 0 hundred health, baby. What? All right, let's hope they're not going to cheese me again with the whole. We can spawn guys and then move them, because that would be pretty awful. Though I have a weird, weird, sad, and horrifying feeling that that's exactly going to be the case. Melt a gun specialization, go! Well done, sir. Well done. Alright, Martelliazon just did some work. It's not too shabby. Zephon's like, don't worry, I got this, I got this on, you don't got nothing, dude. You're not going to kill that thing. You're probably going to miss, because that's what you do. Oh, he did, he did miss, what? He missed a non-moving target. Oh, that's so good. I love it. All right, let's see what the enemy is going to do right now. Uh, it's a day, guys. It's a day. I feel like I'm going to actually probably do three episodes, and I'm going to try to get to episode 28 by the I week's will end. My duty as a member of the Death Watch, but I will be pleased to rejoin my brothers on Barn. Are all bloody and your soap overkill? That has nothing to do with it. I have fought beside many chapters in the past. It is who the Death Watch answer to I do not trust. Brother, we all answer to the Inquisition, whether we are of the Death Watch or not. Okay, well, let's see if we can't murder this down. Okay, that gives us a little bit of vision, but that's going to be a problem. Um... I wonder if I got enough oomph to take that guy out. I should. Oh, good, I did. All right. Let's take you out, good sir. Let's hope that... Well, I hoped we had vision. Let's move a little bit closer. Maybe we'll get vision then. 
Please to all good, we have vision. Alright, excellent. Alright, Orton, super powerful supercharge yourself. And do painful murderous th What's all this? I don't know, but let's shoot the guy anyway. There's weird purple shields all over the place. I'm not really sure what that was about, but okay. I suppose I can accept that. Can I shoot you? I can, and it actually worked. Who knew that would actually work? Alright, let's hope our compatriots, our boys, our girls, everyone rooting for us. Uh, we all survive. It's no telling, to be honest. There's literally no telling. Alright, so he's on over there. It's all well and good. Yeah, there are a bunch of little dudes creepy crawling their way through the place. What about Jofiel number awesome? Where is he? He is over here with regular Jofiel. Wow, oh, we got the twin Jofiels on the side. I feel kind of they're kind of bad for the rest of our squad. I mean, how are they supposed to compete with the double Jofiels? I mean, that's a that's a rough call right there. Let's get Orton moving down of the way and into position. Let's uh, let's Jofiel this dude inside the side of his head. And I suppose we can come over here. That's not quite the end of the universe. Eh, mediocre shot that didn't really accomplish too much, unfortunately. Eh, you know what? We're going to man up and we're going to have Joe Field number awesome tank the gank from the Gene Stealer. Meanwhile, we are going to really, really, really ridiculously hope that we can kill this guy with a lot of shooting. And some melee combativeness uh, to the stuff. Come on, die! Stop clacking your clackety claws. Get shot. Come on, man. You gotta stop missing. You missed like 75 shots in a row. That is unacceptable. Yeah, I gotta say, your melted gun, not as impressive as I might have hoped. We're gonna back up. I think uh, Mart Liaison is not really ready to do anything super amazing just yet. Alright, we're gonna have to hope that we survive. That side is not looking super good. I kinda wish the squad setup was a little bit different. We had maybe one of the Joe Fields over there. I don't know. What exactly is he? Is he a... Is he a warrior? Is that what he is? Come on, hit him. Yeah! Murder, death, kill. Ouch. Ouch. And... Ouch. That was unpleasant. Actually, that was exceptionally unpleasant, and I did not enjoy it at all. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can't take him out from across the way here. We really don't do a lot of damage, do we? Alright, well, we're going to have to buff, 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 buff him up. I feel like he is in a real bad spot. Well, not him. These guys. They just don't have the firepower to actually take this out. If only we didn't sell Valerie. Well, we didn't technically sell Valerie. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Alright, let's get rid of you. Let's move here and I guess overwatch down this general direction. Alright, additionally, we're going to have to really, really, really ridiculously hope that we can heal up enough. That didn't seem to do a whole heck of a lot. Let's move down here with our Marta Liaison. And have him... Wow, he does like zero damage. Literally zero. Oh, he did a little bit more there. Alright, well, we're going to have to throw another heal up on ourselves. Which we can't do. That's not great. All right, well, we can cut you once, cut you twice, maybe get a third cut in there. I mean, I don't, I don't know what's going on here, but we're going to have to back away and somehow he's going to have to face tank the entirety of this. And I'm not liking that at all, to be 100% honest here. 
Really, really need to get Orton into position. Alright, let's hope that he can survive. I feel like moving forward might have been a mistake. If I could redo this, I would have backed up once. We can probably survive another triple strike. I don't know if we can survive a quadruple strike. We'll see. Oh boy. This is not going to be a pleasant experience, folks. Oh, he missed! Oh, that's a blessing. Oh, he missed twice. That's a double blessing. He did land his, his third shot and his fourth shot. Alright. We should be okay. Ugh. Still a lot of nasty coming our way, though. I'm not hating it, though. I'm not hating on it. I think we can still handle this. Oh, he's... Oh, no. He's in the way. Oh, no. I've made a terrible mistake. Well, I say terrible mistake. I made a mistake. Let's make sure we actually kill this guy. Man, that sucks. I forgot that we used the double move on him. That means we can't move him out of the way. And therefore, we can't do anything with him. However, should be able to move here. And in theory, we should be able to land at least one or maybe two shots on this guy. There we go. Not too shabby. We just have to somehow survive this next little onslaught. Of fun and games. Alright, we're going to move to the side. And we're going to attack with Melter Gun Specialization. It's not really going to do a whole lot. And I think I can probably back up to here. And then shoot you once, miss. Shoot you twice, miss. Shoot you... No, I actually hit the second time. Alright, theoretically, we should be able to kill him this next time around. Again, we have high hopes that we actually survive this. Oh, there's a little Pigasaurus over there. Who knew? I shall melt your face with my multiple fire blast of doom. That is mildly annoying and super inconvenient. Imagine being this guy. He's like, you know, my hat made of bronze. People think it's gold. It's bronze. Yep, it melts pretty easily. Actually, I have no idea how quickly or easy gold or bronze melts in relation to one another. I assume it's fairly easy on both fronts. I was also under the impression that I might actually be able to get past that without getting wrecked, but eh, apparently that's not the case. Hmm. Alright, let's move here. Can I shoot him in the butt? Oh, I totally can. Please don't miss. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, he's down. Yay for things sort of almost working right. And can we get another shot, good sir? That's close enough. Get a singular blast there. Scoot down, chop him to little bits. And then you can actually scoot forward and prepare for your onslaught on this. And I think we are pretty much set. We don't have to, I hope we don't have to do anything specific. Like, this is probably the end of the... Oh, you know what? We're probably going to have to leave this place. Oh, that makes me nervous. That makes me pretty darn nervous. Alright, well, we're going to scoot over here. Wait, if we have action points left over, he heals, if I'm not wrong. I should probably utilize that little tidbit of information there in the future. Alright, that's an easy kill. For just about anyone on either side. Going to mow down this thing with a couple of buzz saws. Oh, we actually killed it outright. Alright, well, pfft, wow, we're just like critting things and murdering it like nothing. That is pretty tremendous. Why are we staring? Oh, okay. Like, why are we staring into the abyss? There is a reason. Well, we have to place a bomb, apparently, over there. A bomba. Oh, hello. Well, things are looking a little bit worse than they originally were. Alright, we have vision only of you. Well, we'll take a shot at you. And I think we are going to click over here because that's where we want to aim. And you're not going to move. And you are going to come all the way down here. That's the play we're going to make. Alright, let's hope this works out. We'll see soon enough. He could probably retaliate and do some ownage here. That's what I'm assuming. One or two shots, and then he'll just like... And he's going to go down. Alright, even if he doesn't kill him outright, yeah, second shot he should have it, right? 
Retaliate this time, buddy. Retaliate. Do it. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Well, he could take a few more shots than I was anticipating. Actually, way more. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Okay, you're going to be uh, tanking up quite a bit here, man. I didn't expect that many people to be hidden around that corner. Well done, sir. Well done. Oh, look. And you're going to have another compatriot. Isn't that wonderful? And we thought this was almost over. Who the fools? Th those would be me. I I'm, I'm the fools. Alright. Attack you. Not enough to kill you, but close. Attack you. We'll miss. You're going to retaliate, aren't you? Yep. I saw that coming. Alright. Going to get out of your way. Going to have you drop him. Have you drop him. Have you do a little bit of damage to him. Maybe a little bit more. Aw. Alright. Let's say good day to you, sir. Maybe. Oh, good. It actually worked. Excellent. And it looks like uh, Joe Fuel Number Awesome is still going to have to hold the line a little bit more. He did heal up some. That's a good sign. And in two more turns, he can actually do some... St oh, no! Stop! No! Uh, I thought I had the other one clicked. I'm a fool. But you guys already knew this. I mean, it's it's like no surprise, right? Well, we'll still, he we'll still heal up for 5%. It'll be okay. We'll end our turn. The big man may come over. Hopefully we can wreck this guy. I don't know. I'm assuming that we'll get hit once. Maybe he'll miss. I think he missed. We just flat out owned him. So That's a net win overall. And the guy snuck in behind. That's kind of funny. Well, I'm not super duper concerned with this. Punch him. I said... Punch him? Don't retaliate. And a third punch? There it is. Yeah, that's my boy right there. Doing work. Alright, we're going to scoot forward slightly. And we're going to overwatch this way. You should have some amazing line of sight targeting here. But you don't because you're terrible at doing things like you're supposed to. Move over here. I'm going to move you down one step. And you now have this shot. Which you shall take and enjoy. I'm going to have you move here and see if you can't take out the guy way down at the bottom of the universe. And you can. Excellent. Very nicely done, sir. Let's get you to move over there, get you to move down here, and I think we're pretty solid at this point. In the turn. So just a slow, steady pacing. Again, if anything massively huge comes over to wreck us, we're going to be in a real, 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 real bad situation. But I think right now we're okay. We're not great. We're okay, though. Okay, so, that being said... Let's have Orton deal with big man on campus right there. Down he goes. Continue moving forward. Have you turn and melt to specialize him in the face. Down he goes. Excellent. Well done, sir. Well placed shot. And we will have you overwatch in this direction. Have you come down here. Still gaining back 5% of your HP. Oh, that's such a good skill. Oh my goodness, that has saved us this time around. Well, I don't know. These guys have saved us this time around. It could have been way, way worse, though. Alright, I'm going to move here. I'm going to trust that Joe Fuel can handle it. But we're going to take one shot with Joe Fuel number awesome. He's going to miss. We'll take a second shot with Joe Fuel number awesome. He just handled it. He's like, you know what? I don't trust the original Joe Fuel. That's why I'm going to step in and interject myself into this. Oh, and there's a pig. Well, that's fine. The pig is going to die, and he's going to be miserable. And he's dead. And he's miserable. So, there is that. And yay, I've made it sort of close to where we need to go. Alright, we'll end the turn. And I think Orton is going to make his mad dash for freedom this time around. And we'll see who else can do whatever they need to do. Ooh, I think we may have just almost taken him out. I don't think completely, but pretty close. I think we are going to have Orton just run it. 
I know he can't get all the way out of the way, but that's okay. We'll move next to him with Jofiel number awesome, have him overwatch up in this direction. And handle anything and everything that comes his way. Mart Mart Liaison is going to do his very best to annihilate this Gene Stealer that is apparently really good at dodging his attacks. Now we're going to have the least accurate of anyone, Zafon, come forward and be like, I don't know where I got this. I got this right here. Oh, what he did. He actually did it. He what a hero. All right, so he's showing off his heroism, or his heroism if you prefer, and rocking it. He's doing pretty good. And Joe Field number awesome, not enough to save Orton from the embarrassment of getting pantsed by the Gene Stealer. I mean, short of that, I mean, nothing else happened. I mean, he literally just got pantsed, but it's fine. It's, it's okay. All right. Original Jofio, please alleviate the problems which we are facing here. Get a little closer. That is okay. Zafon, melee him. Make him suffer and burn in the womb of Niktasha. Sorry, again, Dota 2 reference. Alright, gonna run on down here, and we're pretty close to exiting this place. Going to bust all your face down, and it is gone. You are now faceless. Faceless! Clean slate! Sorry. Too many Batman, uh, Pete Holmes Batman uh, skits as well, guys, so... You, you have to understand, when I watch certain things, they kind of come to the forefront. By the way, if you guys have never seen College Humor's Batman or Bad Man... It's like Batman, only worse. You should go check it out. Pete Holmes is hilarious. They are some of the best skits I've ever seen in my entire life. And they are ridiculously, super amazingly funny in a hilarious sort of... Really, really, really ridiculously funny sort of way. So, there's that. So, if you guys want to laugh and you want to enjoy yourselves and you want to be cool, go check out Pete Holmes. College Humor. You don't have to do Pete Holmes. You just do College Humor, Batman, and it'll come up. You guys will be like, oh my gosh, Bumpy, it is so funny. Thank you for sharing this with me. I'll be like, you're welcome. You are welcome. You deserve to to know the joys of Pete Holmes like I do. That's right. He's pretty much the man. All right, so we're going to go over here and get that. So those two are done. Yeah, I'm going to kill this guy right here. This dude, he's done. He's done skis. He's like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's still alive. Now he's done skis. All right, now we can start heading our way back in. Orton says, eh, you know what? I'm going to guarantee the kill. Why? Because I can, and because I want more experience, because you're going to replace me soon, and I want to be irreplaceable. So, that's his goal. Whether he's going to achieve that goal or not, I can't really say one way or the other, but meh. All right, so this next... This next turn, guys, we'll be able to break off the episode. Whoever crawls out, if we have a good shot on them with anyone who's close enough, fine. If not, who cares? We'll just let them be. Like that dude, we probably can murder with some folks. Pretty sure it's going to happen. Meanwhile, Orton's going to return back to the dungeon. We're going to shoot... Actually, yeah, you have heart. Why don't we have you just do this? Yep, there it is. Alright, and victory is ours. I thought victory was our... Did we have to pick up something? Do I have to end my turn? Are we... Do we know what's... Okay. I'm like, do we know what's happening right now? Because I'm a little confused. Alright, so victory is ours. We should have a pretty large and substantial bit of experience coming our way. He really didn't get to do much. He had a crappy little melt gun. I mean, what do you expect, right? There's not much he can do with that. Everybody else is rocking all these really colorful, awesome weapons. He's got this. This is gray. It's like, meh. It only comes in two colors. Gunmetal and black. I've got gunmetal. It's alright. It's fine. Just do whatever you gotta do, man. Just do whatever you gotta do. Still not that much experience overall. I was expecting well over 3k for that one. But hey, you know what? Jofiel number awesome actually outshined regular Jofiel. And Orton outshined everybody like a boss. He just wrecked fools. That's impressive. All right, we were awarded a Mastercraft Flamer. Hmm. Is that a pistol? I think that's a pistol. If that's a pistol, 
I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to our Space Marines and let's go to Marte Liaison and see if we can't get you. Ooh, the Flamer is available for you, good sir. Equip it. Alright, actually, let's. Uh, we're gonna equip it. Well, what does it do? It's a range of four, so it's the same distance as a Melta gun. It does actually more damage than the Melta gun, I think. It's got one AP cost, it fires eight volleys. And it hits multiple targets in a path. So you walk up on like four people in a row and be like, bap, 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 bap. You can hit like all eight of them. If all eight hit, you can hit like all the people lined up in the row. It's going to be great. Probably not, but we're going to pretend. We're going to pretend like it's going to be great. Hey, you know what? He's got a better weapon than the Melta gun. So look at him. I am no longer Melta man. This is not gunmetal or black. All right, so cool. Let's get you some more accuracy, so you are no longer a terrible, terrible human person. And I think that's it, that is. Alright, you're rocking over 20% accuracy, 84 with the gun. Not bad. Not too bad. Joe Fuel number awesome. I think we were still pumping up your stats, maybe? Maybe not. No, I think we're actually going to... Let's get you some war gear, buddy. Let's purchase you a chunk of war gear here. What are we going to throw on to you? We have the refractor shield. I don't care about the pain suppressant as much. Maybe we'll do that. Now, what is this thing? It increases our accuracy or our critical strike. Well, what does it do? Yeah, 40% crit. That's not bad. I may actually utilize that. We'll see. Med kit's being used. The canticle of equilibrium. Don't care about that. The litany of hate. Uh, well, this is better than the other one. This is plus 50% crit to all friendly units until your next turn. This is plus 40 crit to your team until your next turn. Why, why is it... It's the same thing, right? I mean, there's not a reason that there's... Hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to think. We can... We can hook him up with a crack grenade. I think we're going to do that. We'll give him a crack grenade. I think that's going to be okay. Give him a little bit more kill potential. Kill power. It's, it's pretty good. I think it's fair. Alright, we're going to roll out with that. And we're going to save up for this, I think. No, that's not it. That's not the one. Uh, we could do this, but again, with a pistol, it's not as impressive. I guess we may just start saving up for the big one here. The improved metabolism at the 20,000 mark. It might be the play, getting that one extra AP could be a game changer. It also could get me killed very easily. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. So, Marte Liaison, Jofiel number awesome, you have both gone and did your stuff. I suppose we can increase your accuracy a little bit more, good sir. Confirm that. Can we confirm it one more time? No. Alright. You are set, good sir. Jofiel, the original crazy psychopath that you are. Let's get you another shot up to your accuracy there. We'll get you up to the 40% mark soon. That's going to be pretty epic, I think. Maybe, maybe not. And finally, Ortan, was there anything that you needed, buddy? No, and I think you're probably past this point, too. Yeah, 6,200 for that. Alright. Well, you know what? Why don't we do this? 2% chance. It's so bad, especially with this gun. Yeah, I'm not going to waste it on that. Alright, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will be back again soon. I don't know if it'll be today, tomorrow, or when, but I'll be back soon enough with the next installment of Warhammer 40k Death Watch. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>